Esteemed participants of the conference, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the regional council and the regional south of Slobodnia, I'm also very pleased to welcome you to our region. As you know, you are now in Finland, so not very much about that, but uh, we are a very sparsely populated country, a country of forests and lakes. Unfortunately, in this area, we have very little lakes, or not many of them. Mostly we have flatland fields and rivers, which means that traditionally this is not such a touristic region compared to other parts of Finland. But anyway, we have plenty of space in Finland. In northern parts of Finland, you can wander one day without seeing a person. So if you want to have your uh, own keys, you, you can come to Finland. South Ostrobotnia is one of the 18 regions in Finland uh, in the continent, plus we have one region which is an archipelago between Sweden and Finland in the north, uh, southwest corner of Finland. Uh, as uh, already mentioned, uh, we are an agricultural region uh, and our main sources of livelihood are food and wood and metal, especially connected to uh, bio technology and clean technology. We are also called as a food province of Finland because we are, like Ulla Jussila mentioned, we are a bread basket of Finland. We are also famous of, of our entrepreneurship. We have lots of entrepreneurs per capita uh, compared to other regions and uh, although most of them are small and medium sized, even micro sized enterprises, the average is less than four persons per one company. But of course, the importance of tourism is also increasing. Uh, like you see from these figures, now it employs about uh, close to 2,000 people here in our region, and uh, average income uh, and turnover has been increasing lately. The, uh, one of the main sellers for us is how to attract more <coughs> foreign tourists to our region. As you can see from these figures, the tiny green part are the foreign tourists on the column on, on the uh, right hand. So this is something we, we need to work for and of course we have been doing lots of activities to improve the situation. This is also in comparison. I know that this is not very appealing to, to us as South Osobotnians, but this is a comparison of how many foreign uh, guests are staying in different regions of Finland and the uh, red column is the uh, average uh, and on far right you can see the figure of South of Sobotnia. So, so that's one of our challenges how to become more known among especially the foreign guests. But anyway we have been uh, very active in developing the tourism industry. We have had a development program already almost 20 years, we are coordinating activities and strategies and like Ulla mentioned, we are having a new newest tourist strategy for next coming years. And one of the main goals is really to have more visitors from the road. Like I said, uh, the main challenge is that we are not really a so-called traditional tourist region, especially for the visitors who are looking for lakes and uh, forests we have mostly fields and rivers, but still we have our unique uh, features here as well, and, and we believe that they can be attractive to tourists as well. Plans for the future, we want to have uh, more visitors from abroad, especially all the year round, uh, mainly from all the main target countries, our neighboring countries, Russia and Sweden, especially in the eastern part of Finland, there have been more and more tourists from Russia during the last years, now there is a little decrease because of the devaluation of the uh, Russian ruble. And we want to have more professional professionality in business operation uh, and more or better products to attract tourists uh, and of course uh, better networking and cooperation between different organizations. But we, we have to be doing a good progress and I think we will manage also to be better in the future. I'm not going really through the values, but of course, sustainability is one of the values that is very important uh, when developing our tourist industry. And we are focusing, uh, of course, the 
we can, events in our area donate sir, but of course culture and local food like everywhere that's that's one unique piece so that's something you can always be different than the other other reasons when you tell something about your culture and something about your local food and finally for example some of the attractions this is the picture of alto center uh, world famous architect alvar alto uh, has been designing the whole city hall, the church, the theater, and especially if you have time, you have to visit the new library in Seinäjoki. It is, it is really unique place to visit, so please keep that in mind if you have more time. Of course, culture is very important for us. We have many cultural events, and in, inside Finland, we are known of our uh, rich <coughs> culture, lots of uh, hobby uh, like uh, activities, uh, choirs and actors and so forth. And we also in Finland, we are known for a special dialect. Everyone can recognize a uh, uh, South Ostrobotnian wherever he or uh, she or meets uh, one. And then we have like already mentioned big events. This is from the so-called Tango Festival, which you really had last night. I <laughs> hope that you had some practice for that, and that's good because you only need to stay one week longer, and then you can participate in the festival. It will take place uh, uh, after, uh, about one and a half week from now. So, warmly welcome to South Ostrobotnia. I hope you will be enjoying your time here and have a lot of good memories to be back with you. Yeah, this is a big of me. I have to take it because just one week ago I got a five thirds of 1.7 kilograms with some bread. But then after one day my friend sent a message that he said he got one over three kilograms. So. <laughs> We still have a competition going on. But anyway, so please have a good seminar here. You are very welcome to South Ostrobotnia. And uh, hopefully you have a chance to visit here again. Thank you.